Hey everybody and welcome to the first ever Decking Around Showdown. Today we are really excited to check out five new decks, putting them head to head to determine which is the best of the five. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell, please. So today's theme for our showdown is going to be Halloween 2020, and we're going to be taking a look at five of the latest Halloween decks for this year, checking out their Tuck Design, Back Design, Ace of Spades, Jokers, Court Cards, and Total Value of the Deck. So let's take a look at what decks we have up for today. First up is the Fulton's October V3. Next we have the Fear V3 from House of Playing Cards. Third, we have the King's Wild Project's Haunted Eights. Fourth is the Fontaine Halloween. And last, we have the 3D Screams at Midnight. So Steve, let's check out the first deck, Fulton's October V3s. Let's do it. I gotta say, man, I think out of all the decks we've seen so far this year for October and Halloween, that purple is just the best. Yeah, I love that color. I mean, I'm a big fan of purple, and, uh, and that violet, that dark violet is just really, really exciting for me. Yeah, I think they did a great job with it. I love the contrast of the yellow, the black, and the white on top of it, and that embossing that they fit into it to really give it a little bit of depth just pops so nicely. Yeah, I love that little Halloween scene on the front, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun little uh, fun little scene there, and something we've seen across several of the other Fulton October decks, but it really, the purple just accentuates it so nicely. And we have this yep. great dual skull back design here, which I think fits the Halloween theme perfectly. Yeah, I agree. It, it is pretty cool. We have some matching yeah. skeleton jokers. I'm not a, I'm not uh, the biggest fan of the monochromatic. Yeah, uh, it kind of just loses some detail for me. Yeah. But um, base, I, I like the how the two skeletons kind of create that uh, ace of spades. Yeah, there's a really fun feel to it. Um, but I agree, the monochromatic, especially in the courts where you can see it, where there's a lot of detail, it just doesn't do justice to the amount of I think intricacy that these courts probably have. The white on black really kind of gets lost to it. Like it maybe needs a little more shading. Yeah. And I think I noticed that they actually reuse uh, some of the court cards in the deck. They don't have, uh, you know, 12 different courts. Yeah, there you go. Perfect example. The king of uh, clubs right there and the king of diamonds were the same. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. Queen of diamonds. The king of diamonds. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I, the queens were the same as well. Yeah, I love that king of hearts. So I think that might be my favorite card in this whole deck with the. Uh, the sword through his eye. Yeah. I really dig that little ad card right there. Yeah. You know, this is a this is definitely a fun little uh first look at a Halloween deck here. I think the skull theme really fits it really well. The deck itself has a really nice back design to it, carries the theme through from tuck to cards. But yeah, like you said, I think that, that monochromatic just is a little bit of a a little bit of a downside to it there. Yeah, I mean, obviously it handles uh, perfectly as well, being a USPCC crush deck. Cool. What do, so, and what's the retail on this, Steve? Uh, 17 bucks. All right. So all, yeah. all told, you know, you're looking at a embossed tuck, multiple inks on it, $17, crush stock. It's definitely a nice looking deck, and I think if it fits in that theme of something you would like there, it's a decent value for sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh let's dive into the next one. All right. This talk is uh you know nice and vibrant. It definitely gives you that Halloween vibe uh with that bright colored orange. Um, you know, this tuck basically carries over from version one and two, where you see uh, you know, the text on the front and the and the back as well. Uh nice cute little owl seal. That you have there yeah no I, it really sets it for being a relatively simple tuck it really sets the halloween theme up with the color and the little accents there those little spiders on the flap are really cool as well yeah and i love this back design it's so like fun it kind of reminds me of something you'd see on like kids halloween pajamas so on point did you have the fun little jokers here with the two owls uh matching jokers obviously and their same owl from the seal which are great 
And then a relatively yeah. standard Ace of Spades here, which I think lends itself to the deck because this is obviously a uh, Magician's deck, primarily Magician's deck, but right. doesn't seem to bring the Halloween theme really to it with that Ace of Spades. Right, yeah, I mean, this deck definitely is, you know, a, a fun deck. Like you said, you know, it reminds you of kids' pajamas, and um, that's exactly the feel I get. And it, it's more of a cute deck, right? That's the, the feel I get. Um, you know, we had standard courts here, obviously. Um, you know, Alex and, and all his decks, he typically has standard courts because he is a magician. And you can see they're slightly recolored, though, too, for Halloween, bringing that orange to the traditionally red suits, which I think is fun. Yeah. And then one thing that this video actually really doesn't show is that orange is super vibrant. It's really bright and uh, it's a really cool color. What I thought was interesting, though, is I noticed that one gaff card, the Five of Hearts, was actually a, a standard red Five of Hearts, though. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely a fun looking deck. I think it's got a great little vibe to the whole package and really inspires that Halloween feel to it. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the reason why it was a, a gaff card of a red five is because it has kind of like those blood marks on it. So it kind Very of... Very cool. Yeah. No, it's cool. definitely a fun looking deck. And obviously being a uh, USPCC printed deck has a great feel to it as well. And what was the retail on this one, Steve? Uh, 13 bucks, All I All right, so that's really a great deck. For a relatively standard deck, this is still within that realm of what I'd consider like an everyday carry. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think... Alex always, you know, comes in at, at decent prices with his decks. So 13 bucks for everyday carry deck is, is really good. Nice. Not bad at all. So let's take a look at the next deck, the King's Wild Project Haunted Eights. And that is a vibrant looking deck there. Yeah, I mean, that foil, Jackson just has been crushing it with these decks lately. Yeah, he really does go above and beyond with the foil, I have to say. The one thing that stands out to me on this one, though, is other than the word, like, haunted on it, it doesn't necessarily give me a Halloween vibe. Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't give a Halloween vibe, but it definitely kind of puts that, um, you know, obviously it was put out during Halloween, so it kind of gives you that that feeling because of that, but uh, but I, I can definitely see that. Yeah, and I think the interesting thing about it, and yeah, and you can see it right here, this is where the Halloween kicks in for me because of that black and orange striping inside. While while yeah. there's somewhat of a scary feel to it, to me, this is just a very ornate door. I dig the back design. I love the foil on it. Yeah, I Those agree. are some really fun jokers. Oh, man. The, yeah, so good. <laughs> the scarecrows are phenomenal there. Uh, yeah, again, like to me, I think that the just the symbolism of the door with eight on, it's not necessarily that scary. It's a good looking ace either way, but I dig it. These are scary, yeah. dude. He crushed it with the court cards. I think um you know the court cards definitely pull it in much more uh for yeah. me you know I, I think these are definitely halloween-ish um courts and yeah you get lots of ghouls um, and zombies and scary looking characters yeah. on it and i think this is where it really stands out like i think if you were to see the outside of the tuck and remove the name haunted eights would it really inspire halloween thoughts and i don't think it would until you opened it that's an awesome king of hearts though that's the the best court card yeah. that i've seen in a while that's such a good yeah it's court definitely card. a fun little uh fun little king of hearts there and that does yeah, yeah. i mean for me the looking at the jokers i, I that kind of invokes the halloween feel yeah. for me um well, you know and then obviously allows me to put it together with the word haunted yeah. Um, but but I can see what you mean. Yeah, I think, you know, until you actually open the tuck, it doesn't necessarily bring out that feel to me. Yeah, no, I totally understand that. Uh, it came in at 15 bucks too, so value-wise, I think, I mean... Yeah, for all that foil. Full, full foil yeah. for 15 and bucks. And custom, yeah, that's that's quite a, quite a good price point there. Yeah, you know, it does... Uh, it was printed by Expert, um, so a little thicker stock, handles a little... Um, I don't want to say clunkier because it, it handles well, but it's just a little firmer, Yeah, it's a little, little different you know? than what you'd expect with USPCC or Cardamundi. So, cool. Yeah. Let's take a look at deck number four, the Halloween Fontaines. See, now this to me is a tuck that definitely inspires the feeling of Halloween there. With Michael Myers on the front, yeah. it's hard to not feel a little, a little uh, reminiscent of Scary Halloween. Yeah, I mean, I was young when I first saw Halloween, so just looking at it just brings back that feeling of 
you know, creepiness and, and being scared enough to cry. <laughs> and I think, you know, other than the front, it's obviously a pretty traditional Fontaine style tuck box with the ad copy and the back design on the back of the tuck. And then you again have the relatively standard back design for Fontaine there with the interesting orange outlining. Yeah, there's your dual jokers, <laughs> little kid with the dagger. <laughs> and then this Ace of Spades, which I think honestly is a phenomenal Ace of Spades. I love the Jack and Lantern on it. I think it's got the most character out of the whole deck. Yeah, I agree. Um, just looking at the court cards, I, you know, I, I think uh, for me, the only ones that kind of make me feel uh, like I'm, you know, looking through a Halloween deck is the ones with Michael Myers on it. You know, I think it would have been a lot cooler if all of the court cards kind of had um, him on it. You know, it might might have kind of brought it all together for me. But, you know, breaking it up with these different pictures kind of just left me hanging. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an interesting take on it. And I guess it it's meant to invoke memory of the movie itself. But I think to me, you know, a, a Halloween deck could have had so much potential in fully custom courts that were not just, you know, clips from the movie to make it exciting. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I don't remember any part other than the ones with Michael Myers. There you go, yeah, because those are the scariest parts. So I think from yeah. a from a value point of view, you know, this obviously being USPCC crushed stock, it's going to handle phenomenally. And the retail price on this one was $15. So a good value for fontaine fans or for fans of the halloween franchise um yeah so let's take a look at deck number five the screams at midnight see this also just invokes the idea of like spooky halloween to me the way they write screams the little like ghouls and eyeballs and everything on it i don't know why eyeballs are such a big part of like halloween decoration but it definitely brings up like <laughs> definitely brings up halloween feelings to me the even the colorway on this is just a very like ghoulish kind of feel yeah i mean i think it definitely uh you know for me brings forward that emotion you know of going trick or treating yeah. you know you kind of see those weird costumes that are kind of on the back of the tuck and you know that it's, I, I think the tuck kind of brings for that Halloween feel for me, for sure. I get, a, I almost get like a old school like horror movie vibe from it. Something like, uh, like going to see like Nosferatu in theaters, and the fact that it's got this whole like three D vibe to it's really awesome as well. You have the yeah. uh, Frankenstein and Dracula Jokers there, which I think are awesome, and then this kind of like octopi looking creature <laughs> there on the Ace of Spades, which I think fits perfectly. Yeah, I love that Ace of Spades. It's pretty yeah. cool. And then standardish, relatively standard courts here. You obviously have a recolor. With this being more of a magician-oriented deck, the standard courts are not a surprise. But I do like the vibrancy of those greens and blues that they brought into the courts. Yeah, I definitely think uh, I'm a big fan of yellow and black. Yeah. Black and yellow, black and yellow. But uh, yeah, I, I, I dig the courts. And obviously, being a magician's deck, you're going to have your standard yeah. courts. You know, it's it's definitely a, a nice vibe to it, but I do wish they had kind of taken a page from some of those, you know, semi-custom courts we see where they add little Halloween aspects to it. I think it would have made it almost even a little more fun. And then you have a, yeah. a second duplicate Dracula Joker there, and then the... Uh, with the reveal. Yeah, with the reveal, and then the double backer. Yeah. Now, this this deck is actually marked, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And it's also a 3D deck, which I think, you know, there's there's so much offered in this deck, which I think is really makes it fun. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it has it definitely has that like old school like horror movie like black and white horror movie vibe to it for me. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Nice. So I think, you know, from the value point of view on this one printed by USPCC and the retail on this one was 16 right. bucks. So you're getting a fully marked 3D deck for $16. Uh standard courts, but a fun, vibrant, you know, deck especially the talk i really feel like that one yeah that one in the fear deck to me would be something you would like give to a kid you know in, in a good way i think it would be like a fun energetic halloween themed deck probably wouldn't want to give the fontaine's halloween to a kid unless they were really into horror movies and then right. and even like the the kid the king's wild project haunted eights have that kind of scary ghoulish vibe to the courts which might be a little too much for kids but i gotta say there was some really uh 
really fun decks in this batch. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about you. I would totally give, if I had a kid, I would give King's Wild one to my kid. I mean, it's <laughs> funny because they're like cartoonish, but they're still also a little bit scary. Yeah. So it's like a an interesting, I guess it depends on how old the kid would be. Like you probably wouldn't give it to like a three-year-old. <laughs> No, probably yeah. not. I probably wouldn't give any of my decks to There you go. So. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah. taking a look at these five decks and putting them head-to-head, -head, what do you think, Steve? What is your choice for the best of these? I'm going to say my top pick, I'm going to go with the Haunted Ace. Yeah. yeah, I think value-wise, um, you know, that just that vibe in general, maybe not when you first look at the box, but... You open it up, and then all of a sudden, you know, it starts with that that kind of orange and black, and then you just kind of dive in, and you get the jack-o'-lanterns on the Joker. Yeah, I'm going to say the King's Wild. I think overall package and full foiled for 15 bucks, just awesome value. See, to me, I'm going to have to say I think the Fear V3 is the winner. I think it's got a—I nice. uh, think it hits the Halloween theme perfectly. It brings it from start to finish, from the second you see it until the second you put it away. Everything about it just screams Halloween. Um, and I think for thirteen dollars, that's a really good deal for a a, sta a relatively standard deck, but that's got some fun accents yeah. to it. Plus, I I, I love for the sure. I love the back design. I think it's just so fun. Yeah, no, I mean that's definitely a second choice for me. I love that orange color is. Crazy. It, it definitely in the video didn't give it justice. And see, and like I, I think I would have been on the same page with you for the Haunted Eights had it just had a little bit more something to give that Halloween vibe from the tuck, you know? Right. Yeah. No, I totally yeah. understand. Maybe if it had like a, a spider on it, or like a be... like a. I, I almost wish <laughs> I almost wish they had like a a dismembered hand on the door in a similar style to like the courts, uh, you know, something a little bit that. like spooky to tie in with the rest of it because i think the the deck itself was spectacularly done but i think for the full package yeah. to me the fear v3 is the clear winner those are those are good you know here, here's the the two that we chose and uh, i think those are two good picks yeah, yeah no i agree yeah. man so now you know what Steve and I would pick from these five. What would you pick? Let us know in the comments below. We want to know what your favorite Halloween deck of 2020 was. Thanks so much, everybody, for checking out this episode of Decking Around Showdown. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can catch future showdowns when they happen. Hey!